Jeff, tell us who you think will come out on top. Tweet LRL Esports. You Bugger, who's well, going to be taking down the cat? We got a trinket that Looper forgot to buy, so he had to oh. jump back real quickly and grab it. He's probably he's also a little bit shocked. He's he completely sees Galio. He goes, "What? What's? What, what is, is this? What is life?" I, what is life? I am still really shocked by this Galio pick. Yes, it's something they've been practicing, but. Is this just, just a hint of absurd desperation, or is this an ace in the hole for Samsung Blue? Varus didn't necessarily work. This is a whole other beast. Yeah, and so Galio can start a fight if he has Flash ready. Mm -hmm. The problem is, if the Flash is gone, how is Samsung Blue ever going to start the fight against a Jason and a Corky who's just going to completely destroy you in the mid-game with Whoa. poke? They we will have a little one really fight, quick. though. White thinks getting in and making an impact is how it happens. They're able to get out of this one. The heal. That's the dot egg. Hitting the rise going early. That's going to be quick to a tier for him in the lane. And this is going to be a great start for Blue. So that was a very uncharacteristic. They're doing great so far here. With that gust, he definitely can make it around the map quite fast. We'll see if the teleport and the roams come in from him. He'll be helping Spirit a bit in the jungle as we see both. One thing that he will bring into the lane swap situation. Is it, they're gonna be lacking it a little bit with Rise. Galio is really, really hard to siege and die. Obviously, because they're low on sustain, if they get hit by the siege, they hurt, but as far as actually diving, he is one WCG 2010. And you're Galio, old. You're old. <laughs> Galio brought a summoner spell that no longer exists in Fortify, and they could not end the game. You could not finish or siege against the Galio. Maybe that has something to do with Blue's late game here, bringing that type of siege from the top lane. A which shock is last here would hurt so badly. There it is. Actually hits Acorn as well. Are they going to yeah, be able to get in? Danger. Dottie's this big. Is real danger. Dottie is big. That's a kill. That was what? Yes. Good. The quick hit Bad. over, and where he goes down, Dragon goes for Pawn! Pawn gets another one! What in the world is happening right now? They can turn around, the clean it up! Dandy, they need to get out! One more hit to Hart! Hart's gonna be up for a little bit, there's the twisted advance! Arcane smash, and it's gonna come through for the kill! They will pick up, no! Looper, it's the auto attack coming in from Dade as he wastes the flash in mid lane, and we have Carnage to start off game two! As Bad as that was for Blue, losing the dragon to Jace, which was a total disaster. What happened afterwards is still One pretty more good time. for Blue. They have double double buffs after all of this ends up happening. Really poor dragon aggro swapping. Spirit didn't want to get low because he knew he had to smite, and no one else was in there to take the dragon for him. They also didn't want to group for Shock Blast. Pawn with some really aggressive play, fantastic job picking up the double kills. But then the fight afterwards from White was a little bit ill-advised. Take what is given to you and don't try a little bit too hard. Def gets the double buffs, Dada gets the double buffs. They both have them. They got three kills on the rise, despite the dragon going down, and they still have an early game edge. Game for people just keep walking around it. Not Ooh, that's well, the that's ultimate on Dandy. He's gonna jump in. He does oh, not know. Chalio is there, but there's also no ultimate to come in from him. Spot on moves coming in from White here to start to shut down a bit of that 600 gold lead out of that one. Hard's gonna be a little lackluster on getting back out here, and we'll see what kind of pressure White can put down. And there was a ward by Samsung Blue River. If they have any type of catch potential, there is no flash on Galio. Dade does have both of his summoners. Dade would almost need to start this fight. It is so dangerous grouping around Dragon against the Jace poke. White is actually the team that has the potential to start the fight, but they don't have the vision to start the fight. It's a really strange situation we have here. Blue starts it to dare White to come in. Slow play. They're kind of feeding into this one. They're just one. trying to poke him down. Looking for a dark binding that'll lock down the right target from both sides. The pincer comes in. It will not be stolen. That goes to Spirit, but it might be his life for the dragon. We see Mata going down first. Then Dandy falls. It's going to be Acorn, but they have damage right now. No! It is going to be Dottie going down. White is going to start stomping through this fight. Oh, what nice. a catch! What a blast! What a finish coming in! Spirit makes it out alive after the smite, but he's just about the only one. So Samuel White here decides to split up actually. We had Corky down on the bottom oh, side. Oh, it's not over. Pincer. Spirits, you are dead, my friend. Uh-oh. Gets a kill, though. No, uh -oh. yes, he got. All right. Minions OP. That fight was just blue succumbing to the poke of Samsung White. The Corky Jace just getting enough damage down there. Blue bailed out a little preemptively and just was that close.
close to being able to close out the fight, but they took too much poke. See it again. Yeah, so notice how Korki is down the bottom side here, landing the poke. Danny wants to engage as well. And what Samsung Blue is doing now is one of the most risky things you can do. Your jungler 100% focused on Dragon to try and get it, which means he's actually out of the fight. He doesn't do anything in the fight, and it's 4v5 in that case. And now Samsung White, because he landed the poke, managed to just clean it up for now. And notice this catch here. Looper flashing on, and then Shock Blast. What oh. synergy right there, definitely. Oh, it helps when you're 4 1 and 1. The Rod of Ages yet to be finished here. That's a trap. That's a big hit for him. Oh, he couldn't take the wait a minute. Okay, I was going to say, where are you going? You need to help your AD carry, but it's Looper was teleporting down to make even bigger plays. Bulwark onto Spirit. Keep him to play here, walking straight through wards, almost hatching these ones as he goes over it. Will it be the attack? He's going to get locked out. Oh, what blast. Pawn is spot on as he's threading Never these mind. needles. And it's only going to be harder as they're getting the focus kills they need on the blue. Dandy and Pawn are so good together, knowing exactly the range with which Jace can follow up. And Spirit runs into a big cat. It's going to be oh. I feel like if he hit that or heard that hit, he might. Before they started getting into Blue's jungle, and they were not able to come back from the side of Blue. Seeing that pink ward, looks like Pawn's going to get his hands on it. Take it down. is going to be a huge problem on Maokai, specifically come the next dragon fight. It doesn't look like Blue has enough damage to deal with Looper at all. They've lost the top turret. They need to get Vision Control around Dragon again. Somehow Blue would have to control Dragon with wards and avoid the poke if they want to avoid falling farther. And Blue buff right now, helping to charge up that man. Oh, yeah. one more job from him. Spirit in a bad spot right now, but they see Death coming in. Calling comes out, the exhaust on Spirit coming back into the fight. Keeps him out, keeps the rest of the team kind of wondering. Chaos out of the lanes. White has more time to run well, free. Once again, Dandy looking for Dade. Oh, that's still damage that Dade has. Dandy, not really sure what was going to happen there. Oh. But he didn't know where Dade exactly was. He just knew he was nearby. Ended up actually face checking him. And I think a lot of damage. Falls back Yikes. to base. He will have ulti for next fight. Give Dandy Dandy's Rengar and he will find a way into your jungle without you knowing. Especially when White has the lead and they can start putting these wards down. Already see a bit of a movement down towards the bottom side. A nice Man. binding. Soul Shackles. That was a nice hit. Monsoon's not going to do enough. That'll be a last few shots. Can, Can he done? hit it? Can you do that? It's going to be a bit. Oh, he doesn't even want to try. Wants to solidify it with Flash. Kill secured. Because Samson White know they can now go Dragon, five members. If they didn't want to try and hit the rockets here, just use the Flash, get your kill. Still have Valkyrie. Exactly. And go straight onto this Dragon here. For Samson Blue, that's five members. Acorn is not even level 11. The control from White is just wow. too great right now. They are starting to do the same to the vision of the map, and they're just winning a lot of the skirmishes because they start the fights and they end the fights properly. Winning a lot. This one out. Mid-game power spikes may not be used the way oh, they want them. And that many. hit two men yeah. did the most damage last game. He's about to do it again. Yep. Oh! Spirit. Your jungle is not your jungle, says Samsung White. They're going to try to take it oh. back here. They said, you got to pay rent if you're going to stay. Idol of Duran goes down. They are not able to get too much off of that, but they do get a kill over to Dade. Still oh, the fight continues. Pawn comes in with the jump. That just looks like he is going to chew everything up. One more hit. The double use already for him. And this Jay's pick, they cannot afford to give Samsung White Jay's again. He's too good in these early mid games fights with Dana. I think it's a virus they send Yasuo to try and like just like immobile AD carry, land the ultis, kill him instantly. But there was a Janna which destroyed everything. And now you have a Galio pick against the Jace mid lane who's just gonna destroy you. Speaking of that, Janna as well, during that replay, Hart actually went down. So now 0, 6, and 8. They're just feeding themselves that much more on the side of uh -oh. Samsung White. Acorn thinks he's safe to 1v1, but. Dancing apart blue in every facet of the game. This is the fastest I've probably ever seen a team play. The way Samsung White is moving around the map, no the way they're finding catches. It is absolutely almost too fast to follow with everything they're doing. Could be a soul shackles for Mata. He's getting in the right spot. Looper knows he can just put himself out in the front as a tank right now. That he is. The black shield goes down. They lock down Spirit so he can't even get close with a smite. Oh, heavily in the table, Samsung White. Well, we can see Blue trying to set up just a little bit and get something in their favor, but poked out every time. They don't even have enough sweepers to clear all of these yeah. wards right now. It's a zero sustained team outside of a Janna ultimate. Right. Into mid -game oh my gosh. There is no way they can stand there and no. take hits. This is the perfect moment for Samson White to group when you have Trinity Force completed on your ADK, on your Corky, you have the Magic Pen as well, and your T is fully stacked on Jace. 
you can just add in a BF Sword and a Last Whisper as well. And you can just start completely destroying people from max range. And there's no way they can ever get onto you. There's no flash yet for Akon. He needs a few more seconds before it's ready. Yeah. And he will even need to have to flank around them. And Samson White is just going to place walls on the side to see him coming. The thing that is so great at points, and it's arguable who would even have the better late game team once it gets there. Another uncontested dra dragon, as it should be. You don't really want to fight a barrened up Samsung White 10,000 gold in the lead right now. They're a multitask coming up here because they're going to have so much to work with, work for. Yeah, and they've been using Death now just to go between the lanes and try and get towers for some global gold, which isn't too bad. I mean, the Baron right. itself was going to be pretty much impossible for Blue to fight. One of the problems without having that worth having that teleport, but Acorn being here is he has to walk up to this fight. He's got to hit one of those smites on off his Q and see if he can get himself in for an ultimate. Right now, it could be locked out by a twisted advance to calling the only thing used, but that's oh, Andy. Oh. He wants to be going in on this one. We'll not see that ward, but the turret goes down once again uncontested. We actually saw Imp attack that, taking a few turret shots to his face. So you can see how powerful they feel and how much they're pushing that power to the max here. And you just saw Dandy here being ready in case Samson Blue wanted to go for the desperate play and try and engage here because he already popped the ulti. He was already in a good position to jump onto Death in the back line here onto Dade and lock them down. But obviously Samson Blue had to give up the tower, didn't want to try and fight just yet. Problem is, Samson White is not going to give up. <laughs> this They're is going to keep poking. It is such a performance here, but when they catch Pawn, let's see what happens. That's the flash for the idle Duran. We were saying it had to happen, but it's an all in. You have to get out. Spirit with a nice jump to the back. He could have that reset to get out, but the man is quite low. Dandy's trying to get the fight on. Has Fizzin in the brush. Now into the base. Dade goes down. Mata's going to pick up doubles there. What? Tries to throw a throw. Oh, oh, he cuts him down. Wow. <laughs>
Sandy coming out with huge plays again. They're going to run through the base one more time on this one. Just a few minutes extra from game one. 32 and a half minutes. The Nexus will fall once again. And Samsung White takes